A common cause of dripping taps is usually down to a faulty tap washer. As a tradesman, I'll show you how easy it is to replace it yourself. Although tap designs vary, let me show you how simple it is to change a tap washer. The difference with this type is that hot and cold is fed into one unit instead of going to separate taps. Whatever type you have, the process of changing a tap washer is generally the same. The tools you'll need to tackle this job are an adjustable wrench, a pair of water pump pliers, assorted screwdrivers, and some new tap washers. The first step is to turn off the main water supply to the dripping tap. Normally, this would be under the kitchen sink. If the hot tap is dripping, you'll need to turn off the isolator, like this one, or the feed supply near the hot water tank. Make sure the water supply is fully off before removing any tap components. Place the plug in the plug hole or cover it to avoid losing any parts down the sink. Remove the tap cap with a small plain slot screwdriver. Undo the exposed screw to remove the tap handle. If your tap doesn't have a screw, simply pull the handle off. If you're lucky, the sand and water in the pipe should run into the sink, but just in case, have some trays or towels to hand. With the spindle head gear exposed, Remove it using an adjustable wrench in an anti-clockwise direction. But before you start to undo it, make sure you firmly support the rest of the tap. Otherwise, you could damage pipe links and connections underneath. The best way is to clamp a piece of rag in a pair of water pump pliers to avoid scratching or damaging the surface of the tap. Completely remove the spindle assembly. Check the tap washer size and replace the Paris washer with a new one by removing the screw or nut on the end of the tap spindle. Prise off the old washer, but before fitting the new washer, just make sure the seat is clear of any debris or lime scale. If there is some, you'll need to clear it using a separate reseating tool. Be very careful not to scar or mark the tap seat surface. Otherwise, you'll end up with a leak. This one, however, looks fine. Fit the new washer, not forgetting the screw or nut. Reassemble the tap in a reverse sequence, remembering to support the tap when tightening the spindle. Don't forget to turn the water back on. A good tip here is to fully open the stopcock, but then turn it back half a turn. This should stop it seizing in the future. And there we go, a simple job done in a few minutes. If you found this video helpful, tell others about it and look out for more how-to videos here on Draper TV. And don't forget, to do a good job, you need good tools.